Hi YouTube, I built this kids playhouse quite a few years ago and um, I was just going to show you in this video the steps that it took to build it. Okay, so I actually started by building the main kind of uh, shape of the house up on my picnic bench up on my decking. Um, so this is just like laying out boards, uh, attaching corners uh, and posts to the sides. Uh, and just getting the main shape of a house in basically this was actually really quick as long as you've got some long lengths of wood um, it happens yeah a lot faster than you think I didn't actually have a plan for this I didn't you know do a design with measurements or anything like that so the posts and things at the sides you just basically pick a height and then cut all the posts to the same length uh, it just makes it a lot easier kind of building it by eye not having to work from any particular measurements. Uh, here's a different view of the same stage, uh, but you can see I've just built a little door to go on it. Okay, this is the first stage of the weatherboarding. So these weatherboard strips, uh, they're really quite cheap, quite long, uh, and you can just cut them really quickly just to fit the length you want, and that you just overlap them and work your way up the edge of the building. Uh, you can leave gaps where the windows are gonna be. Uh, but like I say, really, really quick to do this stage. Okay, you can see what it looks like with more of the weatherboarding on. It starts to look a lot fuller. And you can see the gaps that I've left for windows. Um, I decided that I wasn't going to put any uh, glass in this because obviously it's for little children. So just as a safety thing, I thought I would just leave it as open holes. Um, you can see not much has changed from this image um, compared to the last one. Um, but I just thought I'd mention obviously the cellophane sheet on the roof was just there, you know, in case I wanted to work on it over several days, uh, just in case it rained, basically. Okay, at this point I had to get four or five of my friends to help me move the house down onto these uh, railway sleepers. Um, obviously you could put the railway sleepers in first and then you could build the house kind of in situ, that would be a lot easier. Um, but I didn't. <laughs> um, so the railway sleepers, you just dig four really quite big wide holes put the railway sleepers in, make sure they're vertical with a spirit level uh, and just uh, pour concrete or cement around the bottom uh, and that just sets them in place. Uh, and then you just simply put the house on and screw down with some really um, big sort of coach bolts down into the railway sleepers and that'll make it nice and firm uh, and it'll be stable forever. Okay, the additional things you can see in this image, um, the the tall tower with the slide that was actually bought on ebay and we had to go and pick it up in the car and i just had to attach it to my uh, roof rack strap it on and drive it home um but it was kind of flat pack so that is something you can buy as a kind of a standard thing and then the little walkway i just built uh in between that and the main house uh, and that is just using decking boards um same with the stairs leading up to the house um those are decking boards, again, that are sort of uh, concreted or cemented down into the ground to make them nice and firm. Uh, and this is really easy to do, the steps, very simple kind of stage, didn't take long at all, um, but it adds quite a lot to it. And this is what's really nice about building a house like this, is you could just keep adding to it. You could keep, like I could add more at the back, and you could just keep it going as much as you wanted. Every time you got a spare weekend, you could just add to it. Okay, this is the final thing. So you can see I added weather boards on the roof. Obviously that involves uh, a ladder to get you up there to put them on. Um, and just the trim around the windows, that sort of thing. And you could do anything at this point to kind of embellish it. Um, one thing I would say, if you're building one of these, make it bigger than you think. Um, like I can fit in this as an adult and stand up just about um, and that's important because obviously kids grow so fast and it would be awful if they just outgrew it and then you had to kind of take it down it's quite nice that you know when they become teenagers or even adults <laughs> if they're still living with you when they're 40 they can still go in and use it <laughs> um, but no but seriously it is quite good to make it so that it's going to last a few years uh, hopefully this video has inspired some of you to want to go out and build one of your own. Um, I had a great deal of fun building this and it happened so much quicker than I thought it was going to. It was really worthwhile and just seeing the kids playing on it afterwards is very, very satisfying. 
Uh, okay, if you like this kind of video, check out my other kind of step-by-step -step videos of other things that I've built. Uh, and hit subscribe to see anything similar that I post in the future. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.